Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mark Loeffler Experience. Uh, we have another great show here for you today. We got Sean Allen on. We're going to be talking about buying a 54 unit building in Tilsonburg. Ingersoll. Ingersoll. I mean, yeah. crap, they're both <laughs> shitty. No, I mean, I Ingersoll, mean, Tilsonburg. Yeah. I, I don't know that I have any viewers out there, so I don't know that I offended anyone. So, I mean, maybe I do. If you're from Ingersoll or Tilsonburg, I don't know who I offended there, comment down below. Guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, I know 70% of the people typically watching these videos haven't. So definitely subscribe down below, turn on that notification bell to get all um, these great videos and definitely smash the like button. The more you smash it, the more people find out about this channel and the more people we can help build their wealth. We're gonna be talking about a 54 unit building in Ingersoll. Yes. For you guys that don't know where Ingersoll is, it's on the 401 corridor between Woodstock and Kitchener, correct? correct. Yep. All right. I used to drive past it all the time going out to university in London. So Absolutely. You're in London, Ontario, right? Like I'm actually, we live in Inner Kip, which is just Whoa. east of Woodstock. So even okay. smaller community. But closer to here, so you didn't travel that yeah. far. No. You're um, not like Corey, you came from Sarnia to, right. to visit yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, give a bit of background. Like you own a fair amount of properties. You're, this yep. isn't your first rodeo where you're just buying a 54 unit, right? No. No, but it's by far the biggest property that, that we've bought. Um, we do have a portfolio of, uh, right now we've got about 140 doors-ish. Um, a lot of the- 194 <coughs> now, because you closed today, Well, right? no, that includes that 54. We actually closed oh. yesterday oh, okay. on it, which it, it was actually a really long process, a lot longer than it should have been. Um, but we have, yeah, so we got a portfolio of about 140 doors, but this is by far the biggest one that we have at 54 yeah. units. Yeah. And it's mainly around that Woodstock Ingersoll or you're all over the place? Uh, so the buy and holds that we have are mostly Southwestern Ontario. So we're Chatham, Sarnia, St. Thomas, Ingersoll, that's sort of. So you go within where? Within about an hour or so. Of, where, of wherever us. you live, you just go east. Yeah. You just uh, go, you don't go. We go anywhere, you know, on, quite honestly, if I can find the deal, I don't really care that much how far it is. Yeah. It's the deal, right? You just got to find that deal. Good stuff. So obviously you found this deal in Ingersoll. How did yep. you come across it? Uh, it was given to me, um, I can't remember who showed it to me at one of our Onria meetings. Um, so we. So Onria is a yeah. networking organization and they have online things. You guys actually had one last night. We did, yeah. yeah. So it, it's a monthly meetup. It's a, a real estate investment club in London. Um, but unfortunately with COVID, we've had to go to Zoom meetings and we've been doing those every month since uh, March, I think. Okay. Yeah. So, so somebody brought you the deal at Unreal. Yeah. Start of the year, someone uh, showed me the deal. I started looking at it, started pursuing it. Was it just another investor or was it a realtor? Or? Uh, no, it was an investor. Um, yeah, it was an investor. And this was like probably January, February. Okay. Yeah. So, and so after investigating it, looking at it, looking at the numbers, we put an offer in and we actually purchased it um, in March. So you purchased it in March. Yeah, obviously had your due diligence period during yep. COVID. Did you get any discounts because of COVID? No, in fact, we actually had to pay more. Uh, long story and we'll get into it, but we actually ended up having to pay more for the building because of the delays that COVID had. Mm. Right, so for financing with CMHC, it, we were supposed to close in August. We ended up closing yesterday, which is December 15th. Yeah. Right, so between that time and the actual closing date, we had to pay basically to play, right? So we had to pay to extend. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah. I would have told you not to go CMHC. I probably would have told you to take a year mortgage from somewhere else. Yep and then go CMHC, because CMHC yep. is just, try to purchase a building, CMHC, COVID or no COVID. Yes. It's just like, they're always slow. Yep, so okay. typically the way we, we buy anything is we buy with private funds, and then we repurpose it with conventional after we purchase it. That's right. typically what we do for every single property. On this one, we decided to go straight with CMHC just because of the sheer number that was required to purchase it. Yeah. Right? Okay, well, we're gonna get into that right now. So what did, what did you end up buying it? So originally it was uh, 6.65 million. Uh, and then we had to, we had two $75,000 increases from so August to 150. Date. So yeah. six, what was the original? Uh, 6650. 6650, yeah. so 6.8. Uh, I got the right amount of zeros this time. I didn't put an extra one in. I always, I always put an extra one in. <laughs> All right. What'd you get on a first mortgage on that? Uh, so 4.5 million. Uh, a little bit more, 66. 40 year amortization. 
at 1.78%. Five year fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 10 years, sorry. 10 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going to say because five years are yeah. coming in cheaper. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get into that. We're not into that yet. So, okay. So, $4.5 million first mortgage, around 67% of loan to purchase price. Yep. Okay. How did you come up with the rest of the money? Uh, well, basically, we took a um, little finessing with the other properties and pulling money out and using some of our own cash. Because you own all your portfolio 100%. 100%. Yes. Right. You don't have other partners. I do not. Yeah. No. So you refinanced other properties yep. to buy this one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you used equity of other properties. You got it. Okay. So basically, there's no second mortgage. You didn't borrow any money on lines or promissory notes or anything like that to buy this yeah so we just will take uh money from other properties so whether that was on like pulling out mortgages <coughs> excuse me or pulling uh, taking money on promissory notes or whatever so we just sort of accumulated it okay. and pulled it out yeah. so like you have no cost of funds against this building though for no. that okay but and then all the other properties probably carry whatever notes yep, or whatever absolutely. you put on there yep. okay all right. What, what did you have to pay for an inspection on something like this? Because we'll put the picture up in a minute of what this thing is. Like, it, well, I mean, let's just say it now. It, it's an old school, right? It is. It's an old school that was repurposed three years ago and built out as a 54-plex. Nice. Yeah. So, and like, I mean, we'll talk about that as we go. But so, obviously, it's brand new. Do you have any repair, immediate repairs and maintenance that you need to do? No, it's no. Uh, like everything has been done. Everything is brand new. Yeah. Right. So you're going to have obviously some wear and tear because of the tenants and yeah, your yeah. stuff. But uh, in terms of like actual capital expenditures, there should be zero for the near future. Yeah. Right? Uh, what did you pay for an inspection on an old school? I did not pay. I didn't do an inspection. I oh, basically you did, it yourself. did it myself. Yeah. Okay. See, and when you're a savvy investor, you can start doing that because you do yep. a lot of construction as well, right? Yep. 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 Uh, appraisal, what did it cost you? Uh, we didn't actually have to do an appraisal either. So because CMHC, CMHC well, just okay. took the purchase price and went with that. What's, yeah, but they do their calculation, yep. obviously. They don't yeah. care about appraisal because no. it always will come in higher than what they value it correct. at. Um, because you got 85% of what they valued it at, correct? Yes. So, okay. So what's your, what was your CMHC fee on there? Two hundred and twenty-four thousand, and the, that's included in the four point five. So they actually dispersed four point three or four point two nine, whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If that makes fine. sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, so well, that just shows how much money we need, right? Um, legal costs, five thousand. Yeah. Ten grand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because you had all the back and forth. Yeah. 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 Uh, anything else that? Uh, Environmental? Environmental was, I think, so funny thing is CMHC, or sorry, RBC wouldn't take the environmental that was done when they did the conversion, which is weird. They wanted their own, so kind of a waste of money, but we ended up buying another one. I think it was uh, $3,200. I guess we are going to say 35 but yeah, yeah 32 Okay. Um, so basically, you needed $2.6 to... You got it. Yeah. yeah. To buy this building. Yeah. All right. Now, the good thing about the building is, yes, it's 54 units and it cash flows like crazy, but there's opportunity to put a minimum of two more, if not up to six more units in the building. So why would you take a 10 year then? Why wouldn't you go ahead and take a one or two year, do that, and then put the 10 year on? Well, I'm just going to, I'm just oh. putting them in for cash flow, right? Oh, so yeah. we'll just add them in for cash flow and then for resale. We're like, this is a buy and hold that we plan on holding for a long well, time. I mean, 10 year right? mortgage, because that's 100%, yeah. uh, you have to pay 100% of the interest if you ever. Correct. Yeah, yeah, but who wouldn't want that mortgage? Exactly. Um, the other thing is CMHC will do is they'll do a second as a top up and they'll just, they won't even blend, they'll just put it on top right. or whatever. So yep. you can do that. All right. So what are the gross rents on it right now? Uh, fifty-one thousand a month. Even? It's like fifty-one, two hundred and forty or something like that. Yeah. We like accuracy. Right. So six hundred. Crisp numbers. Six fifteen right? almost, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, laundry, or they have laundry in their own units. Laundry in their own units, so okay. they don't pay so extra no. for that. Okay. Yeah. Parking. They're they're starting, so the old owners were starting to have uh, new tenants pay for parking. That number is included in what I gave you. Okay. Yeah. Any other revenue? No. Okay. No. What are your heating costs on an old school? 
Uh, the utility cost, so we pay, um, it's obviously brand new, that's very high efficiency stuff that they put in, very high they end. Wall, wall hung? Um, no, you should see this. I'll send you a picture. Send me a picture, it's, yeah. it's incredible. But uh, the, uh, the actual utility costs are 17000 a year. So for that's that's just gas? Yeah, that's everything. That's All everything. the utilities for us, yeah. All tenants pay their own hydro. Everything is individually metered for hydro. Yeah. But you obviously pay for common areas. Yep. And that's boiler. Yep. How about water? Yep. It's uh, in the hydro. No. Yep. You're lying. That's no. that's super cheap. I'm telling you, seventeen thousand. That's the number. Okay, I'm gonna have you yep. on a year from now, and then okay. I want I want to see All if right, this well, is true or not. Because <laughs> like yeah. I mean, I own twenty unit buildings, and my water yep. bill is that. Well, like I don't know, is Ingersoll like cheaper water or something? I don't know what's. I'm telling you, that's the number. Like, we can we, okay. can we can go through. I mean, I don't want to go through every yeah. bill, but... Uh, oh, no, you're right. I lied. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. My, I had my eyes done last week, and I can't see. It's, so it is 17000 for the gas, okay. and then 58000 for water yeah. and the rest. All right, so we, ju we just heard that Mark was right yet Mark again. Mark was right again. So fifty-eight thousand. I mean, that's a big yeah. number to miss. I'm just saying, yeah. that's a five grand a month. I mean, you got it. Like, yeah, water isn't cheap anymore, right? No. It's not free, even yeah. though we have the most in, in in the world. It's not free. That's right. Uh, all right, property tax. Property tax is eighty thousand a year. Eighty thousand five seventy-six. Okay, which is which we are going to dispute actually because it went from forty. 40,000 up to 80, 80,000, Why did they? Um, because of the conversion, right? So yeah, yeah. of course they're gonna, yeah. what, what do they, do you know what they value it at for that? No, I gotta find all that information out, yeah. Yeah, because that'll be based on a mill rate of whatever they value, Correct. Yeah. yeah. Insurance. Insurance is 12,700. It's actually not bad, yep. considering what, insurance rates have done recently yep. so i'm sure ingersoll taking into account though it's all brand new yeah right? well it's in ingersoll yeah. right it's not yep. like hamilton where correct yeah, yeah. secondary yeah. tertiary market right yeah all right property management property management we're at uh, five and a half percent so 2700 a month what do you put in for repairs and maintenance on yours uh we're putting about uh one percent right now just because of it being okay. so new, I'm gonna that'll put, go up. I'm going to put 5% because, I mean, you probably have included in there then you probably have like snow and yeah, like that you probably have that extra. Extra. Where yeah. I just yeah. put it in for, sure. that's yeah. my maintenance yeah. cost. Do you have an on-site? It works out to about the same, right? Yeah. On-site residential manager? Uh, no. Okay. We, we do have a property manager, or sorry, a uh, <clears throat> assistant building sort of upkeep guy that lives close by, but he's not in. He's not. So he's not specific to this no. building. He's he, part of the pro property management. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't have laundry rental, nope. uh, water tank rental? Nope. Pest control? That's part of maintenance. Yep. Unless you have a big problem. <laughs> Vacancy? Um, uh, we have a lineup of people waiting to get in. So I, I can imagine. Yeah. I use 3% even in markets where it's 1%. Yep. Uh, just to be Fair safe. Enough. Yep. Uh, and you got, what What was the rate again you got? 1.78. 1. 1. Okay. And it's a 40 year. So, I mean, even on a 25 year, this thing cash flow is like a, right? $11,000 yep. a month. Correct. Right. So it's a 5.36 cap is what I get. Yep. Is that what you? Yep. Everyone, these deals are out there. Just just saying. So I don't even have a 40-year amortization schedule. To on, put on, on there? To, no, I have a 35. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't even have that. But basically, you're probably cash flowing 17500 a month? Yeah, it's a little bit more. Uh, about, we, about 18, yeah, it's about 18. 18 something. Yeah. yeah. The, the actual payment is $13,096. Oh, well, there month. you go. So, like a 35 year, it's 14568 yeah. yeah. Wow. So, I mean, you bought this this year. Like, these deals are out there. So, this came from another investor. How did they yeah. hear about it? Uh, just from a. a um, a real estate agent that had a, the listing just sent to them. So, so okay, so it was actually on market. So this was yeah. on MLS. It was. Yeah. I always find my best deals come from MLS. Yeah. The majority, I'd say, ninety percent of what we buy is off market. But 
I do find stuff. This one I just bought. We just bought one in Clinton that closes in January at 12 plex. I it was on that. market too. Did I, you? I yeah. sent it to, do you know Josh Doyle? Yep. Yeah, I sent it to him and he's like, what am I going to do in Clinton? I go, well, it's the chicken capital of Ontario. There you go. Like you can, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to tell him you bought it. Now. Hey, listen, there's high demand everywhere, right? For There's no vacancy anywhere in southwestern Ontario, even yeah. up to Clinton, right? Like yeah. it's, uh, and the cash flow is extremely well as well. Yeah. What's the cap rate on that one that you bought? It's uh, closer to, I think, eight if you work out the real numbers. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. And you're going to do CMHC on that again? No. Or, no, no. You're just going to no. buy it and then yeah. flip it later? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's my plan is to put stuff into CMHC as I... Absolutely. Well, yeah. if you can get that kind of rate for that long, right, and amortization, it's it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, just cash flow machines. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, guys, if you guys like this deal, if you like stuff like this, like this is all available if you're looking. The, the key is to be looking out there on the market and like, you know, again, I say it, I don't know how many times I say it, I say it till I'm blue in the face, but your network is your net worth. Absolutely. Right? If you don't go to that networking meeting, you don't hear about this deal, you don't have $20,000 a month in free cash flow now then to go and serve as other things and do other projects and to go build your portfolio, right? Yep. Like, again, and like I might have even structured this a little differently, but I like a 5.3 cap? Like in southwestern Ontario on the 401 corridor, like I don't think you can go wrong with that. Well, congratulations, Sean. This is a Thank great you. deal, man. I love this. I mean, I, when I first heard about it, we were golfing, and I'm like, damn it, like <laughs> it's something I would buy, but I yeah. wasn't looking there at that time, right? That's so, right. you know, the opportunity comes to those who are prepared, and you got to take action on that opportunity, too, and right? you got to take action other, on that. Other people look at it, but it might seem daunting because it's 54 units, it's X number of dollars, but at the it's end of the Ingersoll, day, yeah. not Tilsonburg. That's right. Well, and it's funny though, like I mean, you know, Quentin D'Souza, right? Yeah. I, I just helped him buy a building in Coburg and we were bidding against local people because there was four or five offers and right. we were $300,000 above what they paid and we we're just around a five cap. Yep. And like, I, I don't know where you're buying a five cap now, right? Like it's certainly not in Toronto. No, not, not in Hamilton, not in no. Burlington. Like no. I was in on 42 units and there was 44 offers, right? Like it's. <sighs> It, it, it like and it was selling i don't even know what the final sale price was i got to go look it up but <laughs> anyways all right well i appreciate you coming and sharing the Absolutely. numbers on an mls listed 54 unit they are out there everybody uh have a look hope you guys enjoyed it thanks everyone we'll see you in the next one